this is the abandoned crematorium in the desert. Let's see if there's a way. Inside. This is certainly a place with a freaky history. It's really a lot colder inside here than it is outside. There is a lot to explore. I'll go back to that later. Okay. It's very noisy. And I hope not to attract anything or anybody. It's freakishly silent. These doors already give a pretty eerie effect to this building. Okay, so this is an abandoned crematoria. There is a new one. There are in fact three different types of Friedhof here. That leads to nowhere. There are three Friedhofen here, which in German means cemeteries. This one is, well, obviously abandoned. They have no service anymore. Certainly, it has been in use. They left it behind and uh, well, it's always a question to me why they just leave these buildings like the way they are. But there's probably a good reason for it. I don't know the exact reason. But frankly, I'm just happy that I can explore this place now. one of the places that give me a real shivers down my spine. It's still just a building like any other, but, well, thinking about the story behind it, the many lives it has taken, or, well, it has cremated. Um, well, it gives an eerie effect to it all. 
Also, I'm not very content that this is in a more residential area than I expected. Damn, this is small. Jeez. I'm using a new flashlight. I bought my own workshop flashlight. They were tired of me uh, borrowing those. And, uh, well, it was time to buy my own. There are gravestones in here. 26th of September. That's, uh, that's my birthday. Great. Anyway, moving on. It's hard to tell, but this ceiling is partly collapsing. There's a lot of wind going through here. The doors there, which is the main entrance, they are shut. I've seen it from the outside. There is a way above this. There's not much more to see. There's a toy truck out there. Huh. Okay. Unfortunately, this light does not give the same amount of light that I'm used to from my workshop light. This one is on batteries. But for now, it's all I have. Nevertheless, I'll try to keep everything recorded as much as possible. Not sure what this is. There is uh, water dripping from the ceiling. There's a lot of mold out there, as you may see. And besides that, it's a great place to let your mind get loose with you. <laughs> In other words, the perfect place to hear things that aren't there. But then again, the setting kind of calls for it. So from my own experience from the crematorium, this is where the casket is put upon, and this is where it's going to the literal final destination. Here are the buttons to them. I'm wondering what the upper floor looks like. I've seen the basement now, that's how I entered. There's a toilet. You can uh, drop your last meal there, maybe. There's more toilets. They're pretty near the oven. I wonder if you could hear the ovens doing their job while you're 
sitting at the lawn. I mean, that would just be strange. I don't know, I wouldn't be comfortable doing my business there while somebody next to me gets burned. Or what, what I mean, what if the people are mooring here? You know, they're crying. And in the meantime, you're just, you know, taking a shit. Like, eh, it's Monday, just another day. Gotta do what I gotta do. Obviously in the boss time. But here, I don't know. It, I wouldn't really... This looks like a chapel. There's definitely an upper floor. I'm gonna try to find the entrance to that. I've seen most of this part now. So trying to find my way with my lamp. But wait. Not exactly sure what it means. Muffle, trelate. But I guess those are the switches that ignite the whole thing. This goes down. I think this is to the basement where, to which I just came from. I'm trying to get up actually, but I'm also kind of curious. Yeah, this is where I entered. Okay. My apologies for any form of redundancy. Oh, damn it. There we have it. Bats. Exactly what I'm not liking to see. I hope they leave me alone this time. I've seen them flying already. Damn it. I really don't like bats. They always have a hang of me. Now, these are the most dreadful doors I've seen so far. Look at that. There is absolutely nothing comforting about this place. I mean, I know it's a crematoria, it doesn't need to be. But I suppose people were here, their loved ones. I know it's a bandit, but, well, I mean, there has to be something to make it look a bit more, you know, personal than this. In short, I wonder if this place was any welcoming if it wasn't a bandit. Now, this leads to nowhere because uh, this is not a legal... Um, this is not a legal place to visit. So they shut everything. They break the walls. I had to climb some walls, some fences. But I feel like nobody's gonna bother me here. So I figured why this is so small. They bricked it. And some little rave parties have opened it up. Well, this obviously works. This is the chapel. Or I recall to it as a chapel, but... It's big. Every single door here looks eerie and bricked. It's 
really silent. And I hope it stays silent. staircase that somehow passed the time. I don't really trust wooden stairs, but okay. So this is the site from above. It's just my breath, it's not some sort of a ghost. It's pretty cold out here. As I said, it's colder inside this building than it is outside. But I guess this was the place to say a final goodbye or something like that. Damn. It really just comes off like that. Usually when you wander around a location like this, or I mean an abandoned location, you get used to it somehow. You just walk your walk, document everything. But this place, however, is not really something to get used to. Going in is the hardest part, and then, well, you're relieved, you're inside. That's it, but right here, um, well, it doesn't really work that way. As I recall, this place was abandoned since 93. This was one of the entrances I was not able to get uh, through. I don't know if that boot belonged to an employee or they just forget something. I mean, 
if you think about it, who gets buried or burned in boots? That's usually gets suited up or something. It's a way to go though. with these and even when they're not abandoned it's well not really a place to go to and it bats all right so there was one deeper stairs it's blocked. I don't know exactly why. What goes on there? I hope this thing is not gonna block me. Why is it put here? This place is flooded. For a moment I thought there were fish in there, but uh, obviously not. Maybe some weird fish. It's weird to think that all of the machinery here is related to death. Well, I left my footmarks here. I am no longer proven innocent. toilets there are like five toilets in this building I mean I know it's a shitty job to do but you really need five toilets to perform this job there's even a bathtub there's a uh, I can't really explain that one I mean you're about to get burned, so why would you need to be washed? And don't they come in here washed? I, I suppose they would. Oh, that was my head. Damn stairs. I 
really hope not to encounter any pets anymore. But I bet I might. I believe I've captured the entire building now. I hope this gave a clear image about what it looks like if you visit this place at night. Till next time.